away from all this, and here we are back in the trenches again! And reports of casualties on the left flank are not good, sir. How many? 120, sir, confirmed dead. Dismissed. Well, speak up, for God's sake! Captain Maury Defaults, French intelligence, sir. We have orders to find a Corporal Rahendra Singh. Why? There's reason to believe he's exchanging munitions information with the Germans. Oh, I very much doubt it. Orders to bring him in, Captain. Armistice goes into effect at 1100 hours. The war will be over in an hour. We know that, sir. Corporal Singh has a splendid view of no man's land out there. Thank you, sir. Where's Rahindra Singh? He's down there. That's hot. He's on the move. He wants to stay put. He must have seen us. I hate this. How can you sleep at night? The war is over! Indeed! <laughs> I can't wait to see Miss Seymour. You know, I think I miss her more than anyone else. I miss my wife. Do you realize we almost been married for three years? Amazing. We've seen only each other for 10 days. Miss Seymour, you were coming in. Maybe she didn't get my telegram. You must come and stay with us a few days. We can enjoy being heroes. Everyone will buy us drinks and, and listen to our war stories. Why right now? War is over. <laughs> you must follow your heart. Come on.
Jones, Jr. Hello, Mr. Jones. I'm sorry, sir, you're too late. Miss Seymour passed away last week. I didn't even know she was sick. The fever, sir. Please come in. She left you a letter. Dearest Henry, news of peace is on everyone's lips. I hope to live to see it. Your father is anxious for news of you. Please make your peace with him. Then turn your clever, inquisitive mind to your dreams. Make something of yourself. I know you will. With all my highest regards, Helen Seymour. Fighting, I used to picture the faces of the people that I was fighting for. Especially Miss Seymour. But it was worth it. Now we are all safe. Indy, my friend, let me show you something. Remember this? The map we found on Capital Sing. You kept it? Why? I talked to a Greek scholar at the museum. He translated for me. This says, Behold the eye of the peacock, for you are the chosen one. I mean, sounds like a dime novel. Indy, it's a treasure map. The eye of the peacock. That's what the soldiers said. This could be our ticket to wealth beyond our dreams. concerning antiquities dealing with this period are vague. As I told your friend, many believe this to be a small replica of a statue once in the possession of Alexander the Great. It was made of pure gold. It was diamond eyes. Yes. Each 140 carats. Here is a cut glass reproduction of the peacock's eye. The real thing must be truly impressive. The statue was destroyed shortly after Alexander's death. But the diamond? Tell him about the diamond eyes. One eye was sold to the Emperor of India and subsequently cut up into smaller diamonds, and the other eye... Was stolen. To this day, no one knows where it is. Is that right? And there is a tale of a British colonel. He was serving out in India a hundred years ago, and the story goes that he found the diamond. You didn't tell me that. You didn't ask. Well, if he found the diamond, where is it now? He discovered it in an ancient temple. But before he could abscond with it, he was discovered by possessive monks who held him prisoner. But he managed to smuggle a map out to his son. And the map? Never been found? Not that I've heard of. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Not at all. There's thousands of temples in India. Look in the water off the Indian coast. Could that be a dragon? Yeah, it could be. What does that mean? We have to figure it out, that's all. Whoa! Oh. I mean, there's something written, scratched into the parchment. You can see it when it's wet. It's written in English. It says, above the tomb of Lycomedes, the horses will show you the way to Alexander's greatest triumph. Tomb of Lycomedes? Yeah, yeah, there's a tombstone of Lycomedes in a museum reconstructed in Alexandria. I was there when I was a kid. Alexandria. We will go to Alexandria. The tombstone will show us the way to the diamond. Come on, Rimu, we have to be practical. We don't have the money to go treasure hunting. Indy, this was my grandmother's. Sell it so that you too can find our fortune. Suzette has faith in us. 
Aren't I a lucky man? I mean, this could just be a wild goose chase. It might not amount to anything. I don't think so. Indy, you're my best friend. Let's do it together. One last adventure. This way, Clint. Goodbye, my love. Goodbye. Lenny, be careful! We'll come home rich, my love! Don't worry about anything! Don't worry! I will buy Suzette to find house. There will be room for the children to play. A garden. We'll buy a car. Imagine me, Indy, with my own car. Oh, don't forget, Remy, this is a big gamble and we could lose. I feel lucky tonight. Remy, don't go and gamble away all our travel money, all right? Have faith, my friend. Alexandria, here we are, back in Africa. Let's just hope we have better luck than we did last time. Uh, could you direct us to the Musi Greco Roman? Ah, you are archaeologists. We are the very best hotel for archaeologists. Yeah, we are archaeologists. Searching the past for the secrets of the present. Did you know of Mr. Howard Carter, a very famous archaeologist? Howard Carter? Yeah, he's staying with us too. I met him on a dig about 10 years ago. Is he here now? Not at the moment. Every day he's looking for the tomb of the last boy king. Others say it doesn't exist, but he doesn't give up. Would you give this to him for me, please? Of course. I've circled the museum. Turn left as you go out the door. Okay. Look at the frieze above the tombstone. It's Alexander and his troops. And the mountains are the same mountains. They are the same mountains. Indeed. Do you think that the missing it's half a is... a continuation of the frieze. That's a good possibility. What does the inscription say? I don't know. I'll have to translate. Uh, uh, Mr. Carter, our archaeology teacher, really be impressed if we can translate this. What? Oh, yes, yes, yes. Beautiful, isn't it? Alexander was a magnificent man. Warrior, leader. I wish I would have been alive then to know him. Yeah. That's, that's a nice sketch you've done of the tomb. I am an artist. I uh, like to learn very much from studying other fine work. You've, you've copied it a lot. Yes, I always hear something new. Excuse me, sir, but could we ask you a favor? Could we borrow two sheets of paper? Of course. And two pencils. Of course. Thank you. Thank you.
Mr. Carter asked me to bring you over so you could join him for a cup of tea. Make an excuse. We have work to do. He's through here. Henry Jones, Jr., is that you? Yes, sir, Mr. Carter. I say, it's been ten years. I wouldn't have recognized you. Uh, this is my friend, Remy Bedouin. Hello. Please, sit down. Oh, this dusty creature is E.M. Forster. He's a writer, not an archaeologist, as he has proven again today. Some of us dig in the dirt. Some of us like to dig into men's souls. When he was just a boy, Henry helped me with an excavation at the Valley of the Kings. Yes, we discovered Ka's tomb. Yes, and you were quite helpful. I could use some of that help now, looking for King Tutankhamun's tomb. Really? Well, that'd be great. I'd, I'd love to work with you again. Um, but, uh, Remy and I are on a business trip, so... Business? I thought you were going to become an archaeologist. Yes, sir, I'd, I, I'd still like to, but, um, right now our business must require all our attention. What sort of business? Actually, it's sort of research. We're trying to find out what Alexander the Great's most important triumph was. We thought that, uh, by looking at some of the sculpture, we might figure something out. Well, Forster might be able to help you. He's writing a book on Alexandria. Our history and a guide. I would consider it his vision to conquer the entire Persian Empire and spread Hellenic thought. That's the romantic view. Are you calling me a romantic? Yes. Well, all right, I admit I'm a romantic. And I disagree with you. I don't think Alexander's greatest triumph was his thirst for conquest. I'd like to think it was more noble. But if you had to pick an event, one particular triumph that maybe this drawing might make you think of. Well, there's uniting Greece, or crossing the desert to Susa, or cutting the Gordian knot. Did Alexander ever take a holiday? Or there's discovering the oasis of Siwar and being acknowledged as the son of Amon-Ra. Deification. Forster, looking at this drawing, is there nothing that comes to mind? Alexander and his army trekking. His greatest triumph, conquering the new world. Cutting the Gordian knot. Uniting Greece. Alexander was the greatest general ever. But how many acquired the status of a god? That's, that's got to be his greatest triumph. What does his drawing have to do with Alexander becoming a god? Look, I don't even know if that's the right answer. Face it, we don't know much. When you finish translating, we'll know more. No, we won't. This says the dragon is the key to your dreams. What does that mean? Exactly. What does the man thinking he is a god have to do with my diamond? What does a dragon have to do with my diamond? Key to my dreams, key to my ulcer. That tells me as much as saying this is the key to my dreams. What are you doing? The dragon is the key to your dreams. When I lay this key on the dragon's scales, the eye of the key extends up here somewhere in India. And we know that the temple is in India. We'll go to Bombay. Oh, the key doesn't fit. The map maker must have used a specific key to pinpoint a location. With that key, we could be thousands of Move people. Move to my own! What the I would like to repay you with a kindness. But it's not in my nature. Throw them in the river. Museum. Hey, where is the map? He took it. 
The same guy from the trenches, remember? He killed that angel. He must have a room at the hotel. Let's find him before he gets away. Just a newspaper. There is a page torn out. What page? Bridget. Steamship timetable. He couldn't be more than an hour in front of us. The one-eyed man you described left on SS Van Diemen half an hour ago, heading east, final destination, Java. Uh, does it come into port anywhere between here and Java? Port Said, Suez, Bombay. When's the next boat? Seven days. We can't wait that long. Where's the train station? Garabi El Sadid. I'd better be on the ship. the other half of the map. It's not pointing to India. It's pointing south, east. To where? I don't know. I can't see. Why would he destroy it? To make sure he's the only person that knows where the diamond is. We're gonna have to follow him. Let him take us to it. Come on. Hotel Batavia. Follow that rickshaw. Excuse me, excuse me. Go, go! Change our clothes. Look, there they are in the restaurant. Let's go get something to eat. money do we have left? I'm hungry. Stop thinking about your stomach. Do you suppose those are partners? Could complicate things. Money doesn't excuse bad manners. Gin and tonic, Tazara. 
Excuse me, sir. Would you ask the lady at the bar if she'd like to join us, please? Yes, sir. She probably doesn't know anything. She's just a local bar girl. She can't help us. She might. We need to know what we're up against. I'm an embarrassment to anyone that knows me. So why would you want me to sit with you? We like people that stand up for themselves. Please. One can only take so much. Well, we, we all have our limits. Who are those men, anyway? That's Mr. Ku Wong. A friend of mine once giggled at the wrong moment with him. She now resides at the hospital. The one with a turban doesn't look much kinder. That Shambi, a tobacco trader. Very rich. What about the big one, licking his fingers? He's a diamond trader from the Netherlands. Why are you so interested? Uh, we're in the garment business. We're always looking for new outlets, new customers, and... My name's Lily. Uh, Henry. Arima, and uh, this is my associate, Romaldo. The air in here is too stifling. I would have loved to have stayed and chat. Perhaps we'll meet again. The fat man is waiting in Singapore. If we don't get the diamond to him within a week, he's gone. He'll pay us ten times what we would get on the black market. Where are you going? To get some sleep. So I'll be ready for tonight. What time shall we start our expedition? As soon as it gets dark. Eight o'clock. Remember, Syke, we financed this whole thing. Without us, you'd still be a starving conniver. Hmm. Be in the lobby. Eight o'clock. Don't be late. supposed to leave until tonight? Where is he going? I don't know. Come on. Hurry up or we'll lose him. Do you think he's going for the treasure now? Looks like he's going to double cross his partners. Come on. Is that hammering sound? It's coming from the one on the right. Come on. be part of the map if it doesn't pinpoint where the diamond is. Look, Alexander is on his horse, and he's right under the tallest mountain. There are three mountains. And there's three temples. He's looking in the wrong place. It must be in the center temple.
it say on the back of the map when you spilled wine on it? Follow the horses to... The horses? The horses? Follow the horses. To Alexander's greatest triumph. Becoming a god. Oh, my God. I don't see anything. It's a diamond. We've got it. We've got it. <laughs> Let's open the box. I think that's what the key is for. And that's what I have. Thank you very much. I will take that off your hands. You two do not kill easily. No, we do not! <laughs> We started. Give me the box. It is each man to himself in this world. You understand that? I don't want you following me around all my life. Sir, goodbye. Big deal. Andy, I'm slipping! Try to hold on! Sykes not here. Let's try his room. Someone beat us to it. He was going to Singapore tomorrow. Zeke was probably going to make a deal with the fat man himself. He's coming. If I could. We're going on a boat ride. There goes Kowal. I knew it. I knew it was Kowal. Look, there's the diamond deal. We'll have to keep our eyes on both of them. Maybe, but only one of them's got the box. Come on, let's get on board. This is the last of our money. We'd better be right. Uh, two for Singapore, please. Thank you. And there is Jambi. 
Maybe the three of them are in on it. Well, that won't make it any easier for us. Don't touch me! Leave me alone! Get me off! Stop leaving me! Get off! Get away! Get off! Oh, animals! No way! Are you all right? Do I look all right? They took all my money and bought me a ticket and told me never to come back. Now what am I gonna do? You seem like a girl who always seems to manage. Maybe I don't want to manage anymore. That's what got me kicked out of town. Here, here. Remy, why don't, why don't you go check out our cabins? All right. Don't be too long. I don't know what happened to me in the last year. I just seem to lose hope. I always thought everyone deserved a little happiness, but none ever seemed to come my way. Why are you so kind to me? You have beautiful eyes. <laughs> I'm not sure they are right now. Um, I should go and freshen up. You really shouldn't be seen with me, you know, if you want to protect your reputation. <laughs> Don't worry about me. Oh, thanks. so I know what cabin they're in. Good. As soon as dinner is over, I'll get them to join me at cards. Keep them busy while you search. Cards? We have got two dollars left. What are you gonna bet with? My talent, my brain. I will win from them. And as long as they are losing, they'll stay. Indy, you are not going to give that food to that girl, are you? Just make sure they keep playing cards. You might be hungry. Oh, I am. Mm. Mm. Maybe you could get me a blanket. You're not planning on sleeping out here, are you? No, 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 that's not right. Look, you. You can sleep in my bunk. Thank you. You're my knight in shining armor. Five car. Sounds good to everybody. Some girl must be very lucky to have you. Yeah, well, uh, you won't even hear me come back in. I'll, I'll be quiet. Uh, well, try to get some sleep. You've had a tough day. Thank you, Henry.
But, damn gentlemen, you disappoint me. You're making this much too easy. <laughs> you look for him and find him fooling around some other gal. Then you rave. You even crave to see him lay. He is grave. <laughs> I'm done. Stay. Something tells me this could be your lucky hand. I don't like you. I'm gonna have a drink and then go to bed. With her, you could have gotten into Jungrun's cabin, and we wouldn't have lost our old money. You were supposed to keep them all busy. I couldn't tie him down. <sighs> Go and search Jungrun's cabin now. It would me? Tomorrow we dock in Singapore. If he beats us to the fat man, he'll sell the diamond and we'll have nothing. <sighs> I think I should stay here. No, I... I think I should stay here. We both can't stay here. Well, someone's gotta go. You go. You go. It's got to be done tonight. Okay. We'll both go.
We do not wish to make your life short. We just want your money, your jewels, your gold. No, it's mine! No! Willie, give him the bag! No! Give him the bag! She had the box! Don't let them take the key, Indy. Henry, you had the key. You're the ones who attacked Zyke at the temple. You're the one who shot him in his room? He was going to kill me. We were supposed to be partners. Use your heart! for sharing your considerable wealth with me and my crew. Sorry, I won't be able to entertain you any longer. for the rest of my life. Do you see the box? Here it is. Yes, baby. That's mine! <laughs> Stop fighting over it. We don't even have a key yet. Well, old friends, why is that box so precious to you? What's in the box? I asked 
you a question. What's in the box? My mother's ashes. I promised to scatter them across Belgium to them. <laughs> Bring me the box. Still got him in sight. We have to catch him. Water. It's the last of We've got to get to land soon. We have to catch up, Diamond. I can't have much left either. Go on. Jungle, Remy sabotaged their boat!
We've got it. We've got it. It's ours now. We are rich. <laughs> we are rich. Yeah, rich. There are more headhunters. We have to find water. We don't have any choice. Well, let's hope it's uninhabited. as much food as we can find. Load up on water. And get back to civilization, where we can spread our money, no? <laughs> we don't even know where we are. I'd guess somewhere between Australia and the Hawaiian Islands. Do not worry, Indy. The gods are with us. Ah. Oh, Indy! I already fear it. I look rich! You look the same. But not the same. I see the world through different eyes. I feel higher, poorer. <laughs> I think you've got sunstroke. Right by these rocks. Indy, do you think do you think one of the pirates followed us? One of them lived. They didn't have a boat. Indy, my friend. What? Suddenly it has occurred to me this island is not an inhabitant. How do you know? Boots? You... The, the boots? Take your boots off, Ruby. Smile. <laughs> I boots. never smile at my murderers. We don't know if they're murderers. Even if they were, they could have killed us by now. Why would they wait? Maybe they will wrap us in banana leaves and bake us. Peaceful. Maybe they'll help us out. They don't seem unfriendly. 
I would not smell those if I were you. Maybe we should give them a gift. This would be a good idea. You give them your hat. That's not good enough, Lenny. Not the box. Lenny, let's calm down. It, it's okay. It's okay. I would rather be buried with it than part with it. Wait, wait, wait. Okay, okay. Wait. Telescope. This is is a telescope. For you. Hey, we just gave you a present. Careful with that. Looks like a worm. Kukwam, Wena. It has a crunch. Very tasty. This could be a good sign. Our boat back would be a better sign. What is it? Damn, what does this mean? I hate not knowing what comes next. We must make a break when they are asleep. All oh, right, Remy, the whole tribe against two. What do you suggest? I suggest we get some sleep. I don't think they mean us any harm. Biok. Biok. Indy. Indy? Indy. Indy. Thunderman. <laughs> Thunderman. Smell roast pork. Well, don't get your hopes up. I don't think it's for us. What's going on? You got me. It must be some kind of initiation. These are all the young boys in the village. Maybe today's the day that they become men.
For me? The orc! Let's go in the quack games. Bob, some of the time I'm going to show up. What can be work? What don't you have to show up? Mahawala, you can't tell me. I'll try and take him to the situation in the body. Me, like a trial. The law of the matter of matter. Best of all, it's a matter of matter of the hobby. I think this is a way to treat a guest. But please God, I do not want to be target practice.
Now, where are we going? I don't suppose you're taking us to London, are you? No. So when Kenya comes, we come to know from here. this out of your mind. Is it just some kind of ritual? What's the point? Don't it make yourself crazy? Now I know they're going to kill us. Do not touch! Welcome to the Trobrian Islands. The Kiriwinians are your hosts. I'm Bronislav Malinowski. I'm studying these people. Who are you? Uh, Indiana Jones. Uh, we're travelers from Europe. We came by way of Java. An American. And a Belgian. Remy Bodor. They are brought you to impress the Kiriwinians in friendship. Well, that's what I don't understand. They just got finished killing each other. They don't fight because they're enemies. They fight because the ghosts want them to. The ghosts require the battle. Ghosts? A ghost wants the battle, oh, yes. If he doesn't get it, he'll bring sickness, blights to crops, droughts, floods. Well, then it's all just a vicious circle. And the battles never stop. Take your clue from the people, young man. They bear no ill will to each other. Listen, sir. All we want is to get back to civilization. This is civilization. A civilized civilization. Goodbye, Amata. So far. I've told them I'll take charge of you. Come, it's this way to the village. The question is, can you help us get headed back to London? A freighter comes by on occasion on its trading run. Indy, a boat. I can smell home. London. London shops, theaters, perfume, ladies in velvet. I miss it. So, you're from London? Yes, I live there, publish there, drink ginger beer there. Oh, ginger beer. <laughs> Excuse me. Do you have a hammer, a scissor, or some tools here with you? Why? We need to open this box that had a difficult lock. Uh, there may be something in my quarters. Interesting, isn't it, that the nature of the society determines the nature of their tools. Here, there are no locks. A gardener needs a stick to till a garden, a bone to dig, a vine to secure posts. But you need a more sophisticated kind of tool to open a locked box built to thwart a sophisticated kind of greed. Obviously, that strong box was made to hold your most precious possession. Their most precious possessions are stored in these huts. What's inside? Yams. You can't get a cooler canoe built without yams to feed the workers. You can't get married without yams. You can't be buried without them. Let's go to my castle. You're welcome. 
welcome to stay here with me till your ship arrives and takes you away. Sweeter words were never heard. Brewster's millions? Uh, escapism. I try to keep my sanity. I'd be more than happy to cook us dinner tonight. Yeah, that'd be great. Thanks. Good. Thanks a lot. I'll gather what I need. Indeed. We must make a vow. Wealth and the power it brings will never threaten our friendship. We must vow. We will be friends forever. Friends forever. Stone. Who's oh, this for a stone? Remy, calm down. We almost lose our mind. We almost die of thirst. We travel to hell for a stone. Remy, relax. Are you going home soon? When I'm finished. The only time that's important here is that of energy. How much effort and energy does it take to make a garden? There are no buses to catch, no dinner parties to dress for, only the time necessary to complete a project. What project are you trying to complete? I want to document this culture so that it won't be lost uh, when it changes and uh, everything changes, no? Yeah, yeah, I guess it does. Banana compote. I make the best on the island. Excuse me, I'm tired. Hot chocolate. I ration my supply and read it when I'm homesick, I'm afraid. You two have reminded me of home, of people I should like to see. What brings you to this part of the world? Uh, treasure hunting. Treasure hunting? Why? To get rich. Oh, the, the iron box. We thought there was a very large diamond in it. The eye of the peacock, Alexander the Great's diamond, but... So Remy is tossing and turning. No, oh, he's... He's let down. Now that you don't have your treasure, what, what will you do? Go back to America, go to the University of Chicago. I've always wanted to be an archaeologist, so... More treasure hunting? No, no, I... I know archaeology is not treasure hunting. When I was 10 years old, my father went on a world lecture tour, and I got to go with him, so I went on a dig with Howard Carter in Egypt, and I worked on another dig in Jerusalem, and... I learned a lot about the way people live and things that they hold sacred. There are all kinds of ways of life in this world. One is not right, one is not wrong. Understanding others, we can accept them, and through acceptance comes <laughs> a peaceful world. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Does your friend Remy hold this diamond sacred? Yeah, I guess in some ways he does. Do you? Well, I'd... Well, I'd like to be rich, wouldn't you? I am rich, yeah. I don't need diamonds. Good night, Indy. Good night. Morning. Morning. What are they doing? They're preparing a new canoe for the next cooler trading. The chief uses these sprigs of mint to help persuade the canoe to be swift and steady. 
Can I ask you a question? Have you studied any ancient languages? A bit. I'd like to show you something if I could. Hmm. Does it make sense? Well, it could. The legend says the monks hid the diamond. They were the last people to know about the diamond's whereabouts. They could have taken it. To the Temple of Piety? In India. No, maybe. Maybe it's just another wild goose chase. Maybe. What are you two doing? Oh, uh, Remy, the stone that was in the box had some kind of writing on it. I think we've deciphered it. You two together? Yeah, maybe a clue as to where the diamond is. Why didn't you tell me about the stone? Well, I couldn't figure it out by myself, and I didn't want to get your hopes up in case it was nothing, so I asked Mr. Melanowski to help. And what do you want for your help? Remy! Please, Remy. Don't worry, I've no interest in your treasure hunt. You had no right to tell him about the diamond. Look, I trust him, Remy. You said this wasn't going to affect our friendship. Our friendship, Remy. We made a vow. So, what did you figure out? Do you know where to find it? I know, indeed. I knew. This diamond has our name written on it. Where do we go now? I don't know. <laughs> Motivations are keys to understanding different cultures. Uh, fear of ghosts is a motivator. What will you do when you find your diamond and the richer than your dreams? Go back home, become an archaeologist. That's what you were going to do if you didn't find your treasure. That's what I want to do. So you don't need this diamond to fulfill your dreams. How long will you put off your dream looking for this diamond you don't need? Time, Indy, is the most precious thing we own. From my fiance, see I did them. Over and over. Why am I here when she is there? Because you need to understand these people. More than I need to understand home, heart, family, the love of a woman. Yes. I made a choice, Indy, for now. Choices. Why do we make them? Because we can't do everything. So why would you choose to put off following your dream? to pursue something you don't really need. Tomorrow we'll be on our way. From Singapore, we can try to get to work on a ship going to Bombay. Get some money in our pocket. I'm not going to go to Bombay with you, Remy. What are you talking about? I'm not going to search for the diamond anymore. You are not going to quit? I don't need a diamond, Remy. Or to be rich to do what I want to do. Don't say this. You do not mean it. I do. I'm sorry. When we get to Singapore, I'll find a ship that I can work on headed for London. And then to America. This is crazy. Why quit the partnership now? It was never about a partnership, Remy. It was about us being friends. A friend does not quit halfway through. We are so close. When I close my eyes, 
I can feel it in my hands. No, no, Remy, you don't know if we're close. We could go on searching for clues for years. It has to stop somewhere, and for me, it stops here. I don't know when it'll stop for you. It does not stop! Not until we find what we are looking for! I think you have to do what you have to do. What can I do to change your mind? Nothing, Remy. Don't try. You're making a mistake. I don't think so. We already made a good team. Good luck, Remy. I hope you find your diamond. Canoe, break through your sea passage, glide through peril, leave your imprint in the sand. Perhaps we'll meet again. I hope so.